Folks, this morning I'm going to talk to you about backup, file backup, and how I do my backup. Everybody has their own way they prefer to do it, and I'm not saying mine's any better than anybody else's. It's just the way I've decided to do it. And I've been doing it this way a long time, and it served me very well. Uh, now, this particular machine has two hard drives in it. Uh, one is an SSD drive. That's where the operating system resides. Uh, it's very fast. It boots up quick. The machine runs really fast. But it also has a secondary drive that's a standard mechanical drive, if you want to call it that, as a D drive. And I use that as a working drive. That's where I copy um, videos to, uh, audio, audio files, uh, anything that I'm kind of working on. Word documents, things of that nature. I save those to the D drive. So the D drive, backing up the D drive is, is fairly important for me. So I actually back up double, right? One, two is one, one is none. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. So the primary backup is right sitting right back here on my desk. You can maybe see me grab it. There's a little USB drive. This says it's a two terabyte drive, but as we all know, those numbers are questionable. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll, we'll actually look at it when we get in there on the computer. Now the second um, backup is I have a, a file server. Uh, this is a, a real Dell server, server quality computers, not a PC. Uh, it's a power edge. It's small. It's one of their smallest ones. And it has three 8 terabyte drives in it running in a RAID 5. So it's it's a redundant system. Now it has its own backup. It has a USB drive. So I guess technically I'm backing up three ways because I back up to the USB drive. I backed up to the server and the server backs up to the USB drive. Anyway. <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm paranoid about losing files, as many people who work on a lot of files on a daily basis are. So let me, uh, uh, I'm going to whip this camera around here real quick and show you my where my file server is. And then I'll get on the computer and show you how I'm doing the backup. Okay, stand by, here it comes. Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess underneath the desk over there with the cables. Don't look at that. Just imagine that it's nice and neat. But in this cabinet right here is a Dell PowerEdge server. <clears throat> so what I'm telling you has uh, three 8 terabyte drives connected in a RAID 5. Uh, don't worry about it overheating because I've made Swiss cheese of this desk. There's two two-inch holes on each side. There's also a four-inch holes, a four-inch hole at the top and the back with a fan blowing out. So we're drawing cool in air, cool air in on both sides and blowing hot air out on the back. So it's in it's in good shape. Okay, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you the software. Alright, so what I'm gonna show you here are uh, some batch files. Well, first let me show you the the system here. And you can see I've got a C, that's my operating system, D for data. The E drive is my server. Uh, and then the backup plus is the little USB drive. Um, the server has 21 terabyte. Uh, the backup drive is 170 terabyte my D drive um, capacity 1.81 terabytes so technically you know it could hold a little bit more than my USB drive <clears throat> it's unlikely that would ever happen 
Uh, okay, so those are the three primary drives we're going to be talking about. Is the the D the the D the S drive, which is my server, and the Z drive, which is the USB backup thing. All right, so <clears throat> the backup for me that runs most every day is this one here, and I've used the shutdown command, um, and I'm going to show you these here. In fact, just open this up. I'm going to edit. These are batch. These are batch file commands. Uh, two of them: RoboCopy and Shutdown. So RoboCopy. Um, if you don't know all of the commands, you can find um, listings of RoboCopy on the internet. There's a gazillion of them, or you can just open the command prompt, type in RoboCopy slash question mark, and it'll tell you what they all are. But essentially, we're going to run RoboCopy, and we're going to copy everything on the D drive over to the C drive. The main one here is this mirror. So if I delete something off of my D drive, it's going to delete it off of the backup drive. Add something to the D drive, add it to the backup drive. And <clears throat> then over here, this is just a log file. The log files are optional. You don't have to create them. And then when it's done running the RoboCopy, uh, it initiates a shutdown. And this shutdown, again, you can find uh, descriptions of this program. There's a lot of different options. I had something fall back there. <laughs> the slash S just says shutdown. <clears throat> so for me, instead of clicking start, down on the start button, you know, shut down and picking an option. I just double click on this icon right here. And let me show you how this RoboCopy thing works. I'm going to make a mo small modification here. And just for the sake of argument. Oops. So basically, I've told it to not do this echo off, pause, and just for the sake of safety, <laughs> don't shut down. All right, so let me run this real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is. It's in the C Run Me RoboCopy. There's the commands. Um, here's the log file it's creating. And how fast it runs depends upon how much new material, how many new files, or how many files you're removing. In this case, I just shut it down last night, so the backup said, oh, they're pretty much the same, so it's done. So as you can see, I got a pause. That's pretty much it for the daily backup. Um... Again, every day when I get done running my, com you know, doing whatever I need to do on the computer, instead of running the normal Windows shutdown, I just double click on this icon. And by the way, let me, uh, actually, let me show you. Uh, here's this run me folder. <clears throat> when you create uh, a, a shortcut, for a batch file, it, it looks like this. And you can come in here and go properties, change icons, and just pick something, whatever you, whatever you want it to be. Then you change the icon. No big deal. So at the end of the day, I'm done working. I'm going to shut her off. I just run this file. It copies everything from the D drive, that's my working drive, over to that USB backup drive. That's cool. Periodically, I want to archive that over onto my server. I have created a similar, let me edit it, a similar RoboCopy, that RoboCopy, but I'm going from the D drive to the S drive into this folder. Same commands the log file is slightly different I just changed this name right here server 
Now, I did put a timeout on it, and the timeout just pops up a window with a countdown. I'll show you that. The backup should be pretty um, in sync, so it won't take very long to run that. Let's take a look what that does. All right, so there, there it goes. See, this is this countdown right here. And the only reason I put that countdown in there is because um, sometimes I'll get finished doing a project and I say, eh, I want to run a backup to the server. I double click on it and it just pops up something over in the in the, my peripheral. So, okay, yeah, I know it's done. The other backup that I run is on a reboot. <clears throat> now, sometimes I'll run a Windows uh, update, right? You run Windows updates periodically. And it'll say, okay, you got to restart your server. Well, instead of clicking start button or restart, I use this command, this, this sh uh, batch file. Uh, this one is same, same as the, as the first one does the same thing. It takes everything uh, off the D drive, copies it to the USB drive. <clears throat> the only difference is this command, which instead of a shutdown is a reboot. Uh, the only other command that I might show you, and this actually runs in the startup group, is this, uh, this connect file. And it literally just is a map drive command. So every time I boot the computer up, it maps the, the file server over there so that it's available to me if I want it. Okay, that's it for this portion of the video. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I've shown you how I back up. Maybe you can take those two commands, RoboCopy, and shut down and play with them and come up with something completely unique for yourself. Um, as always, please subscribe. Please click the little dingy dong bell to get uh, email notifications when I put up a, a new video. And as always, have fun.